around nine in the morning, someone knocked on the door and said, come to the lobby. Nancy's dead. Sid woke up. There was blood in the bed. He thought he pissed himself. This is what he said to the cops. And he'd uh, gone over and saw Nancy slumped underneath the sink. If you were to tell me or tell anybody that knew them that they both committed suicide in some grand spectacular fashion, we would have believed it. They didn't have anyone left at the end. They had no one to turn to. They'd kind of burned it all, burned all the bridges. Sid used to get up around five, no matter what, and go to the methadone clinic. I know that Sid and Nancy used to play very heavy subdom games. You know, they used to cut each other and stuff like that. I was just standing next to him kind of thinking, did you kill Nancy? Did you actually stab Nancy? You know, your girlfriend that you love so much? It just seemed inconceivable. And we raced down to the lobby, and Nancy was in a body bag. Sid came out in handcuffs, and we're saying, Sid, Sid, what happened? And he said, I don't know. I don't know. 